But let's just get right into it today because really it's everyone's favorite guest. New favorite guest, the one, the only, Miss Sarah Frazier. I mean, am I as popular as Kim D? I don't think so. But am I in the top five, maybe, of favorite David Yontif guests? I'm probably getting there, you know? Recurring guests, I would say Catherine Edwards is probably one. Okay. And Kim D is really up there, maybe even number two, for all the people that say horrible things about her on my thing there's secretly everyone tunes in and listens and pays for the patreon because she's breaking down in new jersey and she knows these people you're probably third you're probably the third regular guest at this point that everyone is just loving i will take it i love the audience the audience loves you on the sarah fraser show and you are a saint today to put up with me because we were going to record this like 10 hours ago and then my son fell out of bed so there you go there you go. He's okay. Well, you say on your podcast, people love when you just have the life disasters. Well, they here do. is one for you. Here's one for me. My husband takes my son out of his pack and play, puts him on the bed, goes to change him, and he's taking a like giant crap. So my husband turns around to get like a bag, some wipes, and he hurls himself off the bed and hits his head, hits his stomach. We have to take him into the ER here in LA. It, we've only lived here three weeks. Uh, we were there next to a kid in handcuffs with a personal guard. And I swear, David, I swear, one of the people that was shot in Kodak Black's entourage came out and got into his Bentley with his assistant while we were there, I swear. But, you know, they have a huge no photography, no recording, and they make you sign almost like an NDA at Cedars that you will not take photos or record. Only in LA at Cedars. <laughs> Like, this is always worth a tragedy happening, Sarah, because you've got some interesting stuff here. I'm picturing a Bentley, people getting shot. This is interesting. David, they wheel this guy out. Okay, he looks almost like a bodyguard, so I'm going to be curious to see when they release the other names of who was shot at Justin Bieber's after party. He looks like a bodyguard, very big man. Um, He's with this tiny little assistant. I mean, she, she had to weigh all of 98 pounds. They bring up all black Bentley, tinted windows. They... Okay, before they wheel him out, he's in a wheelchair for God's sakes. He's before they wheel him out, the assistant t- gets the top, you know, pops the top, brings down the top, and then they, then they open the door and the guy stands up and gets himself into the vehicle and drives. No, the assistant did. And she was spending like five minutes trying to adjust the seat so she could reach the pedals of the Bentley. Did he sit in front with her or in back? He sat in the front. Oh, listen. Wow. So, I mean, we'll just think of all the people that gave birth there. And it's just, that's a, that's, that's the place to go. If you have an emergency with your child, instead of recording a podcast with me. (laughs) It was, it was star studded. Well, and jail studded, I guess. So there you go. Who was the kid sitting next to you in handcuffs? That sounds interesting. Okay. It was so good. I was trying not to stare because I thought, oh my God, but I didn't recognize him. Now he looked very young. Tw- I'm going to say 21, 22. I have no idea, but he had full arm security guard. So I'm assuming this man is not just selling a little crack cocaine. I mean, this guy looks like he's clearly, I mean, done something and he had a severe pain in his side. I, that's all I could gather. Wow. Okay. So like, as you see, like, I don't even know what to say next, but this is uh This is very interesting. I'm sorry that your son has had a tragedy, but this I find very interesting. David, I almost think we should have sat, because they also, I've never been to a hospital. They have an outdoor waiting area where they have outdoor heaters and they have outdoor seating. So you can sit outside and wait to be called into the emergency room. Um, I honestly am thinking about just spending an afternoon there and just taking notes of who comes in and who comes out because you could sit there and you watch the, the full security, by the way, they wand you down with a a metal detector before you come in. I'm like, I need to sit here and just watch who rolls up. And like, what if you're like, you know, the fake, we've all done it, the fake, like, well, I need to text you, but I'm really holding my phone a little bit angled and I'm going to get a picture. Yeah, I kind of feel like that. Although, oh my God, I feel like Cedars might sue you. Don't you think? Like, I feel like they don't play. I mean, it was like you signed off on your insurance and then the next form was that you consent that you will not take any photography, no video on the campus of Cedars. Absolutely none is to be posted on. It was bananas. And she was like, I need you to initial and sign. I'm like, damn, bitch. Okay. Wow. No, I mean... Well, yeah, you wouldn't post it, but my mind is just turning of like, you know, get the burner phone and then, you know, send it out. TMZ, Perez, Access Hollywood. 
the sun. I'll, I'll, I'll give you my context, but you got to do it from the burner phone and don't use your real name. That's okay. what you do. And then you make a couple coin on the side. Yeah. Listen, I'm just trying to help you with your side hustle over here, Sarah. <laughs> You know, stay there all day. I swear to God, that was someone from Kodak Blacks. Uh, it was bananas. That is interesting. But you know who doesn't need any extra coins are the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Okay, talk to me. Well, the season that has just failed. It's wrapped. We wrapped. The season's done. It's, filming is over. The rumor is R H O B H will be back in like April. Ish. Wow. Wow. Yeah. We're going to see it on our TVs in April and it's done filming. And well, a couple, couple of things. The main two things are, listen, Lisa Rinna, I have to say, I've decided I am, this doesn't mean I, I'm not saying I like her. I'm just saying, I mean, I don't not like her, but the award for who understands this job more than anyone else, I give the top three to Ramona Luann and Lisa Rinna in no particular order. Rinna is just, she has turned on Erica Jane. Remember her ally from last season? The only one who was on Erica's side. The rumor the way, is, yes. My top three who know how to play the game the best, Candace from Real Housewives of Potomac. She's Bethany, up there. Bethany Frankel, Lisa Rinna. Bethany's up there. They're all for different reasons. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I might have to replace Countess Lou with Bethany, but Ramona's up there. She knows what she's doing. I mean, there was an international scandal and an investigation and Ramona's going to be coming back to New York. So Ramona knows what she's doing. Um, Yeah. So Rina, who last season kind of brilliantly, the thing, I mean, if everyone's against Erica and you're on Erica's side, you kind of got a storyline, you stand out. I don't know. Was that genuine? Because now the rumor is Erica, I mean, Rinna is just anti illicit. It all exploded on this Aspen, Colorado cast trip. I need you to go into more detail because I, I want to know, like, I've heard rumors, but I want to know why that they no longer are friends. And two, I want you to tell me, because I guarantee you have more scoop than I do. Is the rumor true that Kathy Hilton sent Lisa Rena a cease and desist? Well, that's a whole nother, right. We have to get into that too. So like, apparently Lisa, I just think Lisa is Lisa and she just. But why do you think the Erica ship? Because they rode so hard for Erica. Do you think she just, she just is turning because she realized the public has turned on Erica? What do you think? Um, I think a little bit. And I think Renan knows that from season to season, when housewife relationships change, that's what people love. Like people love that Meredith and Lisa are on the outs now on Salt Lake. Like people like 